So the board, um, uh, we adjourned, we began the meeting at six o'clock and then the board went into executive session um, to discuss matters regarding uh, contract negotiations. Um, and so we've already done the pledge and we've already done roll call. And so now we're gonna move into approval of the agenda. We actually do have a couple of changes for the um, agenda. So one of them, so one of them is actually small. It's consent agenda financial number eight, which is the approval of the cooperative transportation agreement between the Haldane Central School District and the Garrison Union Free School District. Under the recommended action, it's actually the board is going to authorize the superintendent to sign the contract. It's not the board president. I looked at that contract. It's signed by Carl, not by me. Okay. So I believe I made that change. Oh, you did already. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't it does say interim superintendent. It does. Okay. Yes. When I was looking at it, whenever I looked at it, it didn't Got say it. that. Yes, I made that change. Yes. Um, then under new business, we are going to actually postpone number seven, discussion of use of excess fund balance until the next mm -hmm. meeting. And number eight, the authorization for the use of the excess fund balance. And number nine, the discussion of the capital referendum vote date, just a week. So I think in all three cases, Catherine, feel free to interrupt me. I know for the date, it's just, we're just gathering a little bit more information before we make a final decision and act upon it. And that's the same for the excess fund balance. Is that yes, correct? correct. Okay. Um, primarily due to the use of the capital repair reserve for the field. We're just working with legal counsel and sure, everything to be sure that. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. So pending okay. those changes, Got it. Um, may we please have the recommended action. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the agenda as discussed. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, so the next meeting of the Howling Board of Education is scheduled for next Tuesday, uh, September 3rd at 7 p.m. here in the Middle School High School um, Library. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I just want to say, I know the summer is such a busy time for so many people um, at the district. Definitely all of the uh, the maintenance staff and everybody taking care of the grounds and the buildings and getting the buses ready. And I, I know people have just been working full steam ahead and that's always so appreciated. Um, I had the very fortunate experience of getting to meet very briefly with the teachers that are joining us this year. And it was really, I really appreciated having the opportunity to welcome them and wish them the best on their careers here and how they and was really very appreciative that even though it was it was a handful of teacher but we really had pretty much the full I mean the administrative team was there in full force we had all the principals we had um uh, Mr. Elder we had Dr. Cation and Mr. Aldana was there and I just thought that was really that was a really it sounded like it was going to be a great couple of days to get those new teachers um up and running and then I know later this week that the rest of the faculty will be back and so we're about to really get going so thanks to everybody for the work they've been doing and that they're about to start doing in the next. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to open um, a public hearing um, for the um, for our um, uh, school district safety and emergency management plan for the 24-25 school year this is Dr. Ben something that Dr. Benante distributed uh, to the community, to the school community um, at, at the really, I think the very end of the last school year or the beginning of the summer. And so folks have had um, time to reflect on it. So I'm opening uh, the public hearing for that. And it's an opportunity um, for the public and or board members to ask questions about uh, the district-wide safety plans. So hearing is open, do we have any questions? 
Carl, you had mentioned that because of a, a, a late breaking state uh, law that we will be revisiting this um, in about um, at the next meeting or sometime thereafter. That's that's correct, Sean. So just to, to elaborate there, there is a requirement to post it and make it publicly available for 30 days for review, give the opportunity for people to, to provide feedback. So tonight we're not receiving any feedback. I think the plan is something that is well developed. We we work with our admin team as well as a consulting firm that has a lot of expertise in this. However, in July, New York State added a requirement that districts must notify parents within seven days prior to either fire drills or lockdown drills. So we will, the, the plan that has been posted will be altered slightly. We have to make uh, that addition. Um, and then we have the obligation to post it again for 30 days mm -hmm. and reapprove it. Um, however, we're going through this tonight because we would like a plan in place for the opening of school Tuesday. Oh, great. Thank you. Uh, thanks to everybody. This is such important work. Thanks to everybody who, um, who who works on it and is responsible for making sure that those plans are ready to go. We all really appreciate it. So given that I don't hear any questions or comments, I'm going to close the public hearing on the Housing Central School District Safety and Emergency Management Plan for the 24-25 school year. Mr. Albano. Do you have any comments you'd like to share? I do. Good. Very similar to what you share. Okay. okay. But I'll, I'll provide a bit more detail. I'm sure you will. Uh, you know, as, <laughs> and as, I appreciate that. And, and not too much, but but I think it's important to recognize that the summer is a very busy time for schools. Not everyone realizes that. Um, we had this past Wednesday our admin retreat. That's um, right. We went over to the Putnam History Museum with the admin team. They're busy in their buildings. I, I always am reluctant to pull them away, but we did have some important topics to cover. Uh, we have a new revised APPR plan that is on the agenda this evening. Uh, we also met with our school attorney. He covered some very relevant topics in, in education that the admin team uh, welcomed and, and had some great questions around. And we also spent some time on goal setting. So uh, we continue to meet throughout the year. We do quarterly retreats as well as weekly meetings but that's just one example of summer work. Uh, also the admin team working on filling vacancies, refining schedules, planning new programs. There, there's so much that happens. Um, and the new teacher um, meeting was, was excellent. The, the kickoff was, was what you saw. Then teachers came in, um, our technology a teacher came in and, and did a lot of trainings with our teachers. Uh, Josh Elder worked on curriculum uh, training for them and they embraced it. They also got a tour of our beautiful community. We went up Main Street uh, and then a bus tour. So they really are familiar with the community. So it, it was a fantastic two days. Thanks for everyone who, who participated there. Um, also, we're very excited this year. We have a newly aligned uh, six through 12 schedule. All of our principals collaborated, but uh, Julia Sniffen really took the lead with that scheduling initiative. And we think it's going to help us be more efficient uh, with the operation of the schools. Leo Horn uh, did a lot of work with technology. We have a new communication tool. It's entitled K-12 Swift. Parents will see very little change, but there's more efficiency on the back end for, for the admin team and, and the teachers. So we're looking forward to that. Um, also, there's a class link tool that we're using that will make sign-in for teachers and students much more efficient. Uh, and in a classroom, every minute is precious of instructional time. So this is going to really help teachers and they're being trained on it uh, this week, actually. Uh, also, uh, the clerical staff, just tireless work, registering students, making sure all the lo logistics are in place. Uh, also, our transportation and facilities department really needs to get a shout out. Um, the grounds look fantastic. The buildings look fantastic. The, the Maple Merritt building went through an asbestos abatement project. There are new floors, there's new lighting, new paint. Still has its challenges just with the configuration of the space, but at least it's brighter and more conducive to teaching. And just today they moved all the classroom furniture. So that, that, that space is ready for instruction. 
Tom Cunningham also needs to be recognized. He planned and oversaw the, the field replacement um, and it looks fantastic and really exciting for the sporting events this year. Also, he reached out uh, something new this year. He reached out to the Phillipstown Ambulance Corps to set up an ambulance at all five of, of our home football games. We do have a, an athletic trainer there, but we're going to add an ambulance this year. And I thank them because they're providing it at a very nominal cost to, to the district. Um, welcome back to all of the faculty. Uh, many of them have been in the building setting up their classrooms, and I'm sure that'll continue throughout this week. Uh, and of course, on Tuesday, September 3rd, we're excited about seeing our students and our families, and we're really hoping it'll be a smooth opening. And I think the hard work will pay off, and, and I anticipate it will. Great. Thank you. All right. So now we are at um, the first opportunity for communication from the public. Um, and uh, so the Haldane Board of Education desires and values input from the entire school community. This first public comment session is reserved for comments on any special presentations or active agenda items. For those who wish to address the board, we'd ask you to sign in and state your name for the record. We'd ask you to keep your remarks to three minutes or less. Disparaging remarks and discussion of district personnel are strongly discouraged. Um, and although the board would not engage in any dialogue, we want people to know that we're listening and we'd ask you to leave your contact information with our district clerk uh, for prompt follow-up, either from uh, Mr. Albano or myself. Next on our agenda are our information reports that we always receive at our business meetings, right? So these are the, um, the, the the financial documents that we'll be um, reviewing and approving at our next business meeting, which is in a week. <laughs> so usually there's a month, this time there's a week. Um, and now we go into uh, consent agenda minutes. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And consent agenda financial. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Um, I'm trying to think. Dr. Mr. Albano, I don't think there's anything that we wanted to comment on. This is all pretty straightforward, correct? Pretty, yes. It's pretty routine. Yes, it's pretty routine. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, and consent agenda personnel. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. I think we did want to say something just very brief about this. Sure, very brief. Um there is a side letter, letter of agreement with the teachers union. Inadvertently, um, we had our middle school drama director stipend slightly higher than the high school. This uh, makes them uh, equal uh, in compensation, which we thought was fair. That was just an oversight. Uh, we do have a number of appointments, some aides, paraprofessionals. Thanks to the staff for working hard to fill these positions. We are fully staffed now uh, with this last consent agenda. And um, there's some coaching. We thank all the teachers and, and people who stepped forward to coach and, and do all the extras that uh, give us a full high school and middle school program. Our new girls varsity basketball coach is here. Oh, oh fantastic. <laughs> Scott. Oh, ah. Scott, Scott Timpiano? Timpano. Timpano. Welcome. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. I already heard about you at Tuesday. That's what I said. <laughs> I heard about him before he was even on the agenda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. I think it'll be pretty a relatively brief meeting. But anyway, if you have a minute, just if you feel like staying so that we can welcome you in personally, that would be great. I'll also understand if you want to leave. But this is it's very exciting. Start about five, X is an O. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's right. All right. Um, and I think that's what we wanted to cover. All right. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 And any opposed? Right. Yep. So now we're moving on into new business. PSC, CPSC recommendations. Okay. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the recommendations of the Committees on Special Education and Preschool Special Education as presented. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 And any opposed? And next, now we had our hearing for the um, school district safety and emergency man management plan at the beginning of the meeting, but now is when we're going to be approving that plan. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the super of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the Haldane Central School District Safety and Emergency Management Plan for 2024-2025. We have a motion, please. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And now we'll move to the approval of the, um, the building level uh, school emergency response plans. The recommended, recommended action, please. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the Haldane Central School District building level school emergency response plans for 2024-2025. We have a motion, please. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And now the approval of the K-12 guidance plan for 24-25. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the K-12 guidance plan for the 2024-2025 school year. We have a motion, please. So moved. Second. I don't think there's anything that we want to say about this, I guess, other than thank people very much for their work on it. A lot, a lot of work goes into it. It's yeah. a comprehensive plan and it's available for, for the public on yeah. the website. Great, yes, yeah, so people know about that. That's a really important thing for people to have access to. Thank you. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And now the authorization of the execution of section 3012D, Annual Professional Performance Review District Certification Form. It resolved that upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby authorizes the board president, along with the interim superintendent of schools, to execute the district certification form for the district's submission to the state education department of its amended education law 3012D APPR plan document for classroom teachers and building principals evaluated there under as presented to the board at this meeting. We have a motion, please. So moved. Second. Mr. Obama, this is part of an effort I think that's happening around the country, but definitely in New York, just to help make the APPR, our, our process for you know conducting teacher evaluations, be work better for people. Is that a fair statement? Correct. And additionally, um, in, in the past, Evaluation plans were decided by local districts. Mm -hmm. However, over the past 15 years or so, the, the state requires there are certain guidelines. There's education law that districts have to work within certain parameters. The law changed in 2019. However, your plan has to be negotiated with your teachers union and your administrators union. Josh Elder really took the lead with this during this past uh, negotiation session and has updated the plan to be in compliance with state ed law. Now, of course, we have a plan in place this evening. There is a very recent update to the law, so we may come back to you after the next negotiations takes place, but right now we're in compliance. It changed the growth measure. We're, we're using a, a district-wide measure for that piece of the plan, and then we had to just realign our observation rubric to be aligned with uh, the Charlotte Danielson model. So this is a great plan. Admin was trained. Teachers will be trained this Thursday at their, their, their conference day, and then it'll be rolled out this week. So thanks to everybody for their work on that. Um, did people have any other questions or things they want to chat about it? Okay. No, I think it was a success by the teachers union and the, and the uh, state legislatures to realize local control was a better uh, overall um, approach. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. The adoption of the State of New York Deferred Compensation Plan. May we have the recommended action, please? Whereas the Haldane Central School District wishes to adopt the Deferred Compensation Plan for employees of the State of New York and other participating public jurisdictions, 
for voluntary participation of all eligible employees. And whereas the Haldane Central School District is a local public employer eligible to adopt the plan pursuant to section five of the state finance law. And whereas the Haldane Central School District has reviewed the plan established in accordance with section 457 of the Internal Revenue Code and section five of the state finance law and finance law of the state of New York, and whereas the purpose of the plan is to encourage employees to make and continue careers with the Haldane Central School District by providing eligible employees with a convenient and tax favored method of saving on a regular and long-term basis and thereby provide for their retirement. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Haldane Central School District hereby adopts the plan for the voluntary participation of all eligible employees and be it further resolved that the appropriate officials of the Haldane Central School District are hereby authorized to take such actions and enter such agreements as are required or necessary for the adoption, implementation, and maintenance of the plan, and be it further resolved that the Administrative Services Agency is hereby authorized to file copies of these resolutions and other required documents with the president of the State of New York Civil Service Commission. We have a motion, please. So moved. Second. Um, so my understanding, that's a lot of words, but my understanding is really what this is. It's providing another alternative for um, staff to save for their retirement. And it's and that's Correct. and that's a good thing. A lot of legal language. We offer 403B to all employees. This is one other option. It's very similar, but it's a 457 plan. It's tax deferred savings. It's no extra cost to the district. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So next, we're um, uh, the authorization to renew the committee charges for 2024-25, the recommended action, please. Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby reauthorizes the committee charges as presented for 2024-2025. We have a motion, please. So moved. Okay. Second. Um, so I think this is pretty clear to everybody. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And next, we have the appointment of our board member representatives to the Haldane Audit Committee. May we have the recommended action, please? Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves Ezra Clemenson and Sean McNall to serve on the Haldane Audit Committee for 2024-2025. We have a motion, please. So moved. Second, I guess. <laughs> um, and so great so this so we're wrapping up the audit right now I know actually it's one of the things I should have said in my opening remarks I always know it's so much work but that that's you know coming to an end it's such an important part of what we do every year um, in all districts in New York State or the our financial audits and then uh, the audit committee um, meets with the auditor to both get the report and then it will we'll come and then we'll come to us so um all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Now we have two really long <laughs> um, recommended actions that are related to our, our uh, capital referendum and my understanding, Megan, is that you need to read them in their entirety. So everybody ready? Buck, buckle up <laughs> we a long settle in We're practicing I know. <laughs> okay whereas the board of education of the Haldane central school district has determined the need to provide repairs and improvements for the various buildings and facilities owned and managed by the district described in the attached exhibit and environmental assessment forms and whereas under article 8 of the new york state environmental conservation law and its implementing regulations at 6 nycrr part 617 collectively the state environmental quality review act the district is required to undertake a review of the potential environmental impacts if any associated with the proposed action before approving it including classifying the action and declaring lead agency. 
And whereas the district under the applicable standards of CICRA has classified the project as a type one action, and whereas under CICRA, the district prepared full environmental assessment form, and whereas under CICRA, district circulated the EAF on July 10, 2024, to interested and involved agencies with intent for the district to be the lead agency. And whereas interested in and involved agencies have had 30 days or more to respond and no agencies have declared intent or interest for lead agency. And whereas the interim superintendent of school recommends that the board of education declare itself as lead agency for the proposed action. Now, therefore, be it resolved upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent, the Board of Education of the Haldane Central School District declares itself as the lead agency meeting the standards of CICRA. And be it further resolved, the board authorizes the interim superintendent to sign the EAF and other related documents on behalf of the district and to authorize any CICRA related actions and agreements on behalf of the district and be it further resolved that the district directs its consultants, CS Arch Engineering, Architects and Construction Management and Passero Associates to complete the appropriate forms and documents as required under CICRA in relation to the proposed action for future and further consideration and action by the district. Okay, and it's a roll call. President Peggy Clements. Yes. Trustee Ezra Clemenson. Yes. Trustee Sean McNow. Yes. Trustee Michelle Cover. Yes. Okay. All right. So now we have a second uh, um, action that we need to undertake. Also, one of considerable breadth or length. So, may we have the recommended action, please? Whereas the Board of Education of the Haldane Central School District has determined the need to provide repairs and improvements for the various buildings and facilities owned and managed by the district. And whereas under Article 8 of the New York State Environmental Conservation Law and its implementing regulations at 6 NYCRR Part 617, collectively the State Environmental Quality Review Act, the district prepared environmental assessment form circulated for lead agency intent and declared lead agency on August 27, 2024. And whereas the project includes the following scope and details. Project one, proposed improvements include a building addition for a student center slash steam innovation lab slash classroom wing at the high school and a small addition for a steam innovation lab at the main building for a gain of 18,946 square feet. Project two, proposed improvements include a building addition for an auditorium and music classroom at the high school and a fitness and wellness center at the main building for a gain of 15,283 square feet Project three, proposed improvements include a building addition for a gymnasium and locker rooms at the high school and expansion of the art gallery at the main building for a gain of 13,294 square feet. See secret classification summary and table two for additional project scope and flow, I'm sorry, project scope and whereas the project proposes no traffic increases or significant change to traffic count, flow, or circulation at any of the project buildings and facilities. And whereas the project as proposed will not cause a visual or noise impact at any of the project buildings and facilities. And whereas the project as proposed will not significantly impact energy usage at any of the project buildings and facilities. And whereas the New York State Environmental Resource Mapper identifies potential natural communities of brackish subtitle aquatic bed, chestnut oak forest, pitch pine oak heath rocky summit, oak tulip tree forest in the vicinity of the project site. 
And whereas the New York State Environmental Resource Mapper identifies potential endangered or threatened species of northern long-eared bat, timber rattlesnake, bald eagle, western beak grain, fence lizard, Atlantic sturgeon, short-nosed sturgeon in the vicinity of the project site. And whereas the project site has been identified as an historic site or eligible for listing and or historic areas adjacent to the project sites. And whereas the board has further reviewed the various components and aspects of the project, including the potential environmental impacts resulting therefrom. Now, therefore, be it resolved upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools, the Board of Education has determined that the project is a type one action under SECRA, and the board has compared the proposed action with the criteria for determining significance in 6NYCRR 617.7C of the SECRA regulations and determined that the proposed action will not have a significant adverse impact on the environment and be it further resolved that the project will have no impact on listed potential endangered or threatened species. As part of the project design slash review and permitting with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, confirmation of no jurisdiction will be sought. And be it further resolved, the project will have no impact on potential wetlands or water bodies as part of the project design slash review and permitting with the New York State DEC confirmation of no jurisdiction will be sought. And be it further resolved, the project will have no impact on listed potential environmental communities as part of the project design slash review and permitting with the New York State DEC confirmation of no jurisdiction will be sought. Be it further resolved, the project design will be reviewed with the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation prior to New York State Education Department approval, and be it further resolved that the board hereby adopts and issues the negative declaration of significance annexed hereto and made part of hereof as attachment A, and be it further resolved that this resolution shall be deemed a notice of determination of non-significance issued pursuant to 6 NYCRR part 617 of the CEQA regulation. <laughs> President Peggy Clements. Oh wait, did we, Sorry. I have to, I, I still have to take a motion for this and then we'll do the vote. We yes. have a motion Sorry. please. So moved. <clears throat> Second. Um, I actually have a question. Yeah. And I should have noticed it before. Um, but I. We were required to yeah, include, we were everything. legally required to include all the components, but I do think it's important to, know. to note yeah. we are not proceeding with all of those yeah. components that's, at this time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's actually, that's exactly what I wanted yes. to point out. That that you said we were advised to seek it, but so CSR to you were required to include that, it all to do it all at once. Even though the board has been very very clear that we're really taking this one step at a time, and our focus for um, a while is the 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 um, the, the uh, an initial phase of the work that we think is most critical. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. President Peggy Clements. Yes. Trustee Ezra Clemenson. Yes. Trustee Sean McNow. Yes. Trustee Michelle Michelle Pepper. Yes. Okay. Um, a second opportunity for communication from the public. Anybody has anything? It can be about anything. Yes. Yeah. This would be a great time for you to stand yeah. up and introduce yourself. Thank you. I mean, I'll have to stick around afterwards. So speak. Uh, but I just want to introduce myself. My name's Scott Zampano, and uh, I was just hired uh, to be the girls' varsity basketball coach. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Beacon, uh, and I've been there for, geez, almost 15 years now. Um, I'm extremely excited to get started. I'm uh, coaching the girls. I know that there is an extreme and rich tradition of excellence in athletics here in Haldane, uh, with boys and with the girls' basketball programs. And I'm excited to get back in the gym uh, with all the girls uh, that want to be a part of the program and start working and, and see what we can put together. And hopefully, uh, with some time and some hard work, uh, we will give the 
community and everyone uh, that lives in the greater Cold Spring area, a product that they can be proud of, uh, both in the classroom and on the court. Um, so thank you all very, very much. Thank you so thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Um, are there any board reflections? Oh, well, I guess uh, in addition to all those individuals who are thanked for their work over the summer, just also gratitude to all of the staff members who continue to support students through extended learning through the summer. Um, oh, absolutely. Um, which there are, there are many and, uh, you know, uh, both in the classroom, but, you know, providing consistency and supportive care throughout the year. So, um, and I guess I will also say that, um, you know, as a, my son, has had a one-to-one -one aid, and you may or may not be aware of this, but there are a lot of summer programs that kids go to that it's very difficult for kids with social development uh, issues of one kind or another to to participate in. But you know, one of the beauties of our small community is that you develop relationships with these individuals who work at the school, who are the one-on-one -on -one aides, who then become the people that know your students best, your kids best in the community. So, you know, we, though the school didn't pay for it, we were in the position to employ his one to one aid to provide support mm -hmm. for him at a local program that otherwise would not have been able to accommodate him and it was very successful. So, mm -hmm. my gratitude for that relationship. Uh, that's great to hear. And I, my memory is that we did some of the extended learning here on campus this time for the, right. for the on campus this year for the first time. So, thank you so much mm -hmm. for noting that. That's great. Yeah. Anything else anybody wants to add? All right, Mr. Obano, any final thoughts? No, just again, thank you. Um, I also personally want to thank Megan, the admin team, several of them are here, and, and the board for just welcoming me and being patient with me and bringing me up to speed so quickly. Uh, you have a great team here. I, I know the board knows that, but, but I think it needs to be said publicly. Um, you have a fantastic team, and I am very confident with this opening. I always get a little bit of anxiety before school opens, and it's been 34 years. That's just what I go through, but I feel very comfortable, and it's really because of the people around me. They, they do great work. Well, and we should have thanked you. I know you really hit the ground running this summer. There's a lot to do. It's a big year. I was going to do my beginning of year speech next time, but there was really a lot for you to to, to get up to speed on, and, uh, and we really appreciate the um, the communication and the, you know, all the work you've been doing. So it, it's been a good start. So thank you. All right. So um, I move to adjourn the meeting. May we have a second? May I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any yeah. opposed? Thank you, everybody. Thank you.